The FBI seem to be very busy these days as they continue to find random classified documents in the homes of senior politicians. It seems to have become a weekly saga now in America where classified documents have been found left, right and centre. Um, there seems to be something happening um, behind the scenes. Something is definitely going on because it can't just randomly be a coincidence that uh, they started finding a couple of documents uh, initially at the private office of uh, Joe Biden and then his home, then the back of his car. Then now the latest person is Mike Pence. So this is quite weird because the Mike Pence situation and Joe Biden situation are quite similar-ish because they are claiming that uh, these classified, classified documents were taken when they were vice president. Now, that's the key point. Now, of course, uh, Joe Biden is still very much uh, on the defensive, saying that I did nothing wrong. I don't even know. I don't remember what I had for breakfast. That's a perfect, perfect defense line that Nicola Sturgeon used a couple of years ago during the Alex Salmon inquiry. I just find it fascinating that uh, senior politicians that we have in our countries, they all seem to have very bad short-term memory when it's needed. <laughs> so um, going back to <clears throat> the, the Mike Pence situation and Joe Biden situation, and there will be others definitely. Six more classified files were initially found during a 13-hour search of Biden's home in Delaware. This was last Friday. Uh, so we already reported that, uh, but then they said that the documents uh, to, uh, to be believed to be related uh, to the time when he was vice president. The key point is, vice presidents don't have the power to declassify documents. So these documents were clearly still classified. Why are they in the homes of Joe Biden and Mike Pence? Is this some sort of move to throw uh, Joe Biden under the bus to find someone else. Why are they going after Mike Pence? Is it because of, again, links to GOP and everything else is happening? Is Mike Pence up to something that they don't like? I don't really know exactly, but we have to keep an eye on this on a regular basis because as we get closer to the 2024 presidential election, we're gonna find out more about who is going to be the victor. Not necessarily in terms of the presidential election, but who's going to be the front runner in regards to the American politics in general, the whole of the establishment. Now let's do a quick timeline review of what's been going on. All this has been going on. It came out about well, a couple of months ago now. 2nd of November was the first batch of classified documents that were found at the Penn Biden Center. It's the think tank that uh, Joe Biden uh, has in DC. So technically it was in his private office there. 20th of December, second batch of files were found at the home of Joe Biden in Wilmington. Wilmington. A 12th of January, a document found in a storage space at uh, Mr. Biden's Wilmington home. And on the 19th of January, <laughs> FBI agents come to Mike Pence's Indiana home to collect more files. And of course, 20th of January, uh, we've had the Department of Justice there uh, announcing that they've discovered six more documents. So let me know what you guys think, what your theories are about what's going on exactly, because it seems to be as we get closer to the election, as I said, uh, we might be hearing more about more random classified documents. What are in these files? Why do these people obtain it? Did, but did they obtain it? And why are the FBI going after them now? Is it just a coincidence in terms of the timing as uh, uh, President Trump uh, gets ready to start his campaign. Is it the classic excuse to say, see, we are also investigating other senior establishment politicians like Mike Pence and Biden, but nothing will actually happen. So they could use that against Trump to bring down Trump before he even runs. That could also be a theory. But let me know what you think about this whole thing. Amaya Tusi and we are the media.